All right, bullying, as we all know all too well, happens all too often in Utah schools. And though there are efforts on administration levels to end bullying at schools, there's still room for improvement. And that's where a group of high school students in Harriman come in. In tonight's Utah Caring Stories, Doug Jessup hears from the group of not bystanders, but upstanders. There's a lot of different forms of bullying that not a lot of people really realize. <laughs> there could be cyberbullying or just physical bullying. It's everywhere. It's even at your home. You can't get away from it. I think that's what cyberbullying is. Bullying is clearly a problem in schools around the country. Charlie Sorensen from Richfield is spreading the word by talking to her peers around Utah about a possible solution. So, Charlie, what's an upstander? Upstanders are willing to tell people this is wrong. This is wrong and you should not be doing this. There is power in numbers. When there's 10 people being upstanders versus one person being mean, what do you think that one person's going to, to do? Are they going to keep continue doing this when people are saying, hey, this is wrong, don't do this? Jake Yeager from Harriman is an upstander. He broke up a fight at his school while bystanders watched. It was crazy. There was just so many people, and I was just like, why are you just standing here, you know, like that's so wrong. People have their phones out, like it even took me a second to get through the crowd to go break up the fight. I feel bad for the girls, for just like everybody's watching them, like what are they going to do when they stop fighting? Everybody's just going to make fun of them, and so I just felt like I needed to step in and stop that. They're actually pretty cool, and I was like a little sad. What happened next? Here's the crazy part, okay? After the fight, I was walking away. People were like, come on, man. A kid actually had pushed me up against Portable. Fortunately, there are upstanders online. After my mom had posted it, I, she had gotten like a ton of comments. And they were just all like positive. And I thought, I was like, yeah, that was the right thing to do. Thank you for being an upstander. Yeah. These stories deserve to be told. These are Utah Caring Stories. I'm Doug Jessup, ABC4 News.